Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from、uh, one of our subscribers. Let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this type of problems. To send your own questions, please subscribe our channel. All right, the analysis looks something like this. Let's do a quick review on properties of logarithm. Log is very powerful in that when two things are multiplying, a times b, taking a log will lead you to the sum. Of the two individual logs, so basically order of operation is reduced from multiplication to addition. Now, second property is if a is equal to b,、uh, there's special case. It looks like this little hat, the exponent, actually fall off in the front.、Uh, here's a little quick simple proof.、Uh, second property is that、uh, you can write log rewriting into the exponential form.、Uh, for our particular problem, that's not the property we need to use. So let's focus on for our problems. Uh, we're gonna move the variable x over here, the term that has x onto the left hand side. Then we have、uh, one thing adding another, pretty much like、uh, what we have over here. One log adding another log. We combine that one into one. In that one log, then the two things we're taking log off can be multiplied. From here, we can raise left hand side and left right hand side into power of e. So we're gonna basically have a quadratic、uh, equation there. We can easily solve. So let's write up the solution. All right. So here's the solution. I moved one term from the right hand side to the left hand side so that I have one log adding another log now. Since I have two logs adding, it's one log. Of the two things multiplying over here, and on the left hand side,、uh, that's the, on the left hand side. Right hand side is just the number, natural log of three. Now I'm taking e to the left hand side and the right hand side. The reason I want to do that is to get rid of the natural log on both sides. Then on the left hand side, I have x times、uh, x plus five equal to three. That's the pretty easy. Second order polynomial using quadratic equation, I can solve it. Now there are two roots here, plus minus thirty seven. The requirement for natural log of x, that's over here, requires x to be larger than zero. So one of the roots is not valid, since、uh, radical or square root of thirty seven is actually bigger than five. The only viable solution is minus five plus square root of thirty seven divided by two. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please come and share or like this video. Together, we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.